In this part, we're looking into assigning hotkeys for brushes and sculpting. We can choose brushes by either clicking on them on the left panel or pressing hotkeys. S for smooth, X for draw, Shift C for crease, G for grab. But what about other ones? Well, we have to assign shortcuts for them. Go to Edit Preferences. Select Key Map. Go to 3D View. Find Sculpt. Hit Add New. Type in paint.brush underscore select and press Enter. Choose your favorite brush and assign a key for it. You can change the brush size by hitting F and moving your mouse or stylus. With Shift F you can adjust the hardness. Let's configure our brush. Go to Fall Off and choose Flat. This will make our strokes more crispy. And now it's time for Dynamic Topology. This option will let us create polygons and sculpt more precisely. Turn on Smooth Shading. Set Detail Size to 3 and turn off Symmetry. Alright, ready to go! Oh, Dyntopo ruins all our beautiful shading. It is actually best to start from the top. I'm actually trying to mine my strokes and not go too crazy with shapes and details. You can also smooth with any brush by holding shift. It is really important to preserve the overall smooth rounded shape, including most of the sharp and untouched edges, in order to create a rhythm of details and associate the outlook with the past and present of the object. I'm not trying to copy the reference entirely, but just follow the general idea. Although it is ancient, it shouldn't look like destroyed all the place, but there have to be some points of interest which give it some story. Alright, now it's time to sculpt some cracks. I find crease brush most suitable for this purpose. Set detail size to 5. And make it flat. Increase its strength. At first, I'm given a general shape for the crevices. And then I'm making them deeper. Later, I select my favorite scrape brush and work out the edges. Cruise brush is fantastic. You can use it for garnet crevices and for hard surface as well. The only difference, I guess, is that for hard surface, you should keep sharper edges especially for stone or concrete materials. So, what can we make behind? Another crack, I guess. All right, now look at this marvelous mess. It is barely possible to go on sculpting. It is over 400,000 vertices. So, how can we fix that? I suppose there are different ways to do that. So, let's try one of them. Set the strength to zero. Activate Dyn Topo. Switch Detail into Constant Detail and set Resolution to something like 20. Now we can clean our mesh, reducing unnecessary details. Oh, look at that. Isn't it eye-pleasing? Not quite, I guess, but still better than before. 
now it is possible to post-process our crevices again. And now we're ready for adjusting our low poly for the high poly and speaking of UV maps.